the nominees for Hospitality Award of the Year are Cocoa Plum Island Resort Hamanasi Adventure and Dive Resort And the winner is Hamanasi Adventure and Dive Resort Hamanasi has been in existence for 19 years. It is a company that has uh, 30 rooms. The beauty about Hamanasi is that you can do both inland and marine in one day. We basically make sure that we provide the best possible service. We make sure that we keep up with the trend by adding new stuff. So we, we now offer yoga, we now offer massage, which wasn't offered earlier. So that's two new things that we've added on in addition to expanding in terms of adding more rooms. Hamanasi has this, this customer service training, we call it our secret sauce, and that helps us to connect with our guests. So we try and build relationships. Most of our guests would connect with either somebody in management or a staff in the dining, a staff at the Adventure Center. And if there is something going wrong with their stay or if there is something that they're not satisfied with, they would connect with that staff to let them know. Mind you, we still, as a management team, touch base with our guests. We, would, we build a relationship where we see William three times a day. We go, hi William, how is it going? So that's another way within their stay that we find out if, if something is not going to right. William would open up and say, hi Melanie, you know, something happened today on my tour. And then they would tell us. So if a guest would come and give us feedback about a tour that they've been on, we would we, we listen, um, we empathize. And if it's a service that we provide, we, based on the feedback, we would automatically come in.